What's up guys, in this video we are doing episode two of the setup series and we're covering two out of three Lux Algo premium indicators, which you can get access to on luxalgo.com. And in this video, we have the Lux Algo signals and overlays as well as the Lux Algo oscillator matrix. And we're gonna just jump right into the settings menu of the Lux Algo signals and overlays indicator right here to go over how we're gonna customize this indicator to be efficient for finding impulse moves to the upside or downside, as well as reversals used in confluence with the Lux Algo oscillator matrix. So let's get right into it. We have the settings menu that we're gonna access right here, and we're going right to the presets and filters. What we're gonna select is the trend strength filter. So this filter is actually using the metric that we can see in the dashboard that's measuring the trend strength. So when the metric is high, that's actually indicating to us that we're in a trending market. And when the metric is low, that is a good indication that we are in a ranging market. So what the trend strength filter is doing when we select it from the settings menu is it's allowing the signals to only display when they are aligned with trending market conditions. So we can see here, this is generally a ranging market. And if we turn the trend strength metric back off, we can see that these signals were all filtered out and we only have the signals now that we have the filter enabled that are aligned with a trending market. Of course, this can't always be the case. So you can see some signals are still occurring in different ranges. And the trade-off will be that sometimes it will miss the trends. But to combat this, we are going to go into the settings and turn on the confirmation gradient candle coloring mode. And this is gonna help us actually see the development between bullish and bearish trends a lot smoother just based on the candle colors. Now, one thing I will recommend as a part of this setup, since we are taking into account the candle colors as a secondary part of our analysis is to go into the chart settings, go to symbol and disable the borders. Even if you aren't using the candle colors, the borders don't really matter too much, so you can just make this a default for your trading view charts. Turn off the borders and the candle colors will become a lot easier to see. Next step is we are going to turn on the trend catcher. Since we are looking to analyze how these trends are developing and we do want to consider when the trend catcher is rising to see when there's likely an uptrend occurring. Right When the trend catcher is typically flat, that's when we're noticing the market is ranging. And of course, there's many other different ways to interpret this indicator that we're going to cover in this video. And for the Lux Algo oscillator matrix, we can just leave this on completely by default unless you want to customize some colors or disable some features that you may not consider as the most relevant for this setup. Here's how we can use this specific setup to find reversals and impulses to the upside or downside. Here we're on the four hour time frame. You can of course use this setup and all of our indicators on any time frame, any ticker on TradingView, but we're gonna be analyzing this specific reversal that occurred down here and led to a large impulse way up here on the four hour time frame. The first thing that we can notice is on the oscillator matrix, we had the money flow here, this red and green wave going all the way to the upside and interacting with its threshold line that we can see here in green. And this was all occurring as a leading indication since the price was coming down and we saw this happening, right? So as we saw that happening, we also got a minor reversal signal right there as well as an exit signal right here. So we can see that based on the money flow, as well as these reversal signals, we had a lot of buying pressure coming into the market, which is considered a great setup for a potential reversal. We could have used this bullish confirmation signal as an additional confirmation to consider 
the impulse move beginning to occur to the upside if you didn't already enter a position based off of those signals that occurred down here. And then what we can see next is the very obvious sign for an impulse to occur, which is right here, this specific area we can notice many different things are happening. The price action that's occurring in this specific area is very bullish. We can see it coiling to the upside. We can of course see these overlays like the trend catcher is holding in green. The price is above the trend catcher. The price is above the smart trail. We have the price action like we mentioned. It's making higher highs and it's ready to move to the upside. And that's what we can see right here. We got a huge move to the upside. So we noticed many different things before that large move occurred to the upside. And the logical question is how we could have noticed when this move was ending, what we could have done to take advantage of this move, such as how to exit positions that you may have entered during this. And that can be done in various different ways using these two indicators together. So by default, the Lux Algo signals and overlays indicator has these blue exit signals. And you can, of course, consider these exit signals for taking profits on your positions. You can consider them as a part of a reversal like we went over previously down here. We noticed this was a exit signal from this bearish confirmation right here, but you can just take partial profits based on these if you want or you could optionally use the reversal signals that were also occurring on the Lux Algo oscillator matrix. But if you're looking to find a more clear indication that this entire impulse move right here is coming to an end, you can notice more significant things occurring on the oscillator matrix to give you that understanding in a really easy way which is what I'm about to cover here. So before considering these large reversal signals and these exit signals exactly as a potential reversal, you could consider the oscillator matrix smart money flow features and how these are rising so significantly. I wouldn't really wanna fade an impulse move to the upside as the threshold line is increasing with the money flow itself right? Because when this is happening, it's typically a really bullish sign. And of course, you can also consider the overflow that's occurring here. It's basically just giving you an understanding that there's a ton of excess buying volume coming into the market. You don't exactly want to fade this specific scenario when using these features together. It can give you that understanding that you want to find something more obvious, such as the overflow coming to an end and bearish divergence, right? So the bearish divergence confirmed here, overflow came to an end at the same time. And that specifically was right up here at the very end of this entire impulse move to the upside. And ever since those two signals went off, we can see that the market has been completely flat and this impulse move has certainly come to an end. Another indication that you could have gotten with this setup that there's a maximum of three exit signals that can occur per each confirmation signal on the Lux Algo signals and overlays indicator. Once you get a third exit signal consecutively based on one confirmation signal, that's typically a good sign to consider that this trend is quite exhausted. And right after that, we saw a couple candles later, we got these really obvious signs that this trend is likely coming to an end. And as mentioned, this does work on any time frame. You can notice these features behaving in a very similar fashion. If we go here to the daily chart, you could notice a couple different things as to what you could have been paying attention to at the same time during this reversal that we were just analyzing on the four hour time frame, which was right about here. We saw a bullish divergence confirm in real time right here on the money flow, right as we got all of those signals that we mentioned earlier in the video. So if you were looking at the daily time frame, you could have noticed that there was a large bullish divergence that was also occurring as the daily charts money flow was first entering the green as well. And then next you'd want to look for on the daily time frame 
the trend catcher to flip bullish, the smart trail to flip bullish, as well as a bullish confirmation signal, which we can see all occurred right as we were getting this impulse move. So this was all confluence that you could have used on the four hour chart and the one day chart during this move to the upside right here. We can notice that the behavior of the oscillator matrix has been really good in this market condition, such as additional things we could have been paying attention to on the daily time frame during the same setup was the money flow coiling to the upside as the price was going to the downside, leading us to that bullish divergence. And of course, that move that we were just analyzing in detail on the four hour time frame. So that pretty much wraps up this video and how you can use these two indicators together to see reversals, consider different aspects to find the larger impulses occurring in the market. And in the next video, we're going to be covering a specific setup using the Lux Algo price action concepts indicator, which is the third indicator a part of our Lux Algo premium indicator suite. You can get access to on luxalgo.com. All the links for all of these features we covered will be down below in the description. Make sure to leave a comment for what setups you want us to cover next, and we'll see you guys in the next video.